Hey guys. guys! Welcome to the eighth episode of K-pop Party. My name is Kate, and this, this is Diana. Okay, so today we're going to be doing a new bit K-pop quiz. And I'm sure a lot of you guys already know how to play Mubit K-pop quizzes, but just in case it's your first time, I will show you guys. You press the three dots in the top right corner, and then you press Mubit Quiz Beta. And these are all the quizzes that our Mubit team has made with hard work <laughs> for you guys. There's like endless amounts. So basically you can play one quiz for free, right, per day? Right, 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 per day. And then if, like, some of the hard ones, if you play it, then you can win 30 <gasps> heartbeats. 30 heartbeats, And some of them yes. you can win six, six heartbeats. heartbeats. I guess they're a little bit easier. Um, they probably have five questions mm, per okay. quiz. So the 30 heartbeats one, you can, it, there's 10, 10 questions. Yes. Yeah. So basically, that's how you play the Mubit quiz quizzes and today we're going to be doing one of the quizzes that's on there and what is the quiz? The quiz is going to be guess the artist by the title of their album. I think it's a pretty recent quiz. Mm -hmm. I think it came out like last week or last last week, mm -hmm. two weeks ago. And yeah, so how we're gonna play this today is we are going to show you guys the quizzes on our screen. So make sure that you guys look the look at the screen. Yeah, I think the the title page, the thumbnail already came out. And um, we're gonna show you guys the question and the answers that you guys can choose from. Mm -hmm. And then from these answers, you guys can choose one answer and tell us what you think the answer is yeah. in the chat. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna choose two people who get the answer correct and we're gonna give 50 heartbeats. 50 heartbeats? To two people. We're gonna select them randomly. And also just in case you guys get confused, when you look at the questions, the photo that comes with the question is not related to the <laughs> answer. Not, yeah. We just made it like that so that it's a little bit harder for you guys to guess the right answer. Right. Because if we put the image of like the group, the, you guys are gonna yeah, know gonna right away. Easy, we already so. know how good you guys are right, at these really games. You guys are really passionate yeah. in K-pop, so you guys should be able to guess it properly even though you don't have the picture hints. Mm -hmm, yeah, so shall we begin the quiz? Yes. So the first quiz... First the question. first question is, guess the artist by the title, and the title is Weekend. Weekend. So if you guys know who the artist is, please comment below. Who it is? Who is yes. it? Yes. We have a lot of Astro fans here. Oh yeah. Arohas. Arohas. Ooh, we're getting some answers uh -huh, in. Uh -huh. It is not Astro, it is not TXT. <laughs> they're, they're not even in the... Mm, yeah, comment the answer that you guys think mm -hmm. is right. Should we give a hint? Should you give a hint? Well, actually, if you guys have looked at previous K-pop party episodes, mm -hmm. then you guys will probably know who my, um, like, one of the artists that I like. Mm, one and, of the yeah, artists. one of the artists that I like. And she, mm. yeah, it's, oh, that's, it's a she. Yeah, it's that's a, she. a hint. That's a huge hint. So Rocket Punch, Taeyeon, Ghost Nine, Drippin. Mm -hmm. It's a she. It's a she. I think this is pretty. Yeah, it's it's pretty 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 I think we gave it. We gave it away. Uh, okay, like one more hint is that the artist had pink hair yes. in the music video. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We basically gave you guys the answer. <laughs> okay, so. so Oh my gosh, we got so many answers coming in. Wow. Okay, so Diana is going to choose two people. And mm -hmm. while she chooses the two people, I will be playing the answer song. Yes. So the answer is... One second. Who is the artist? Yes. Yeah. Okay. You can choose two people. Okay, so um, the one person that I will choose is going to be Che with a turtle emoji. Oh my god, that's so cute. And Soon with a, I think that's a tiger emoji. Let me write yeah. the usernames down. Sure, sure. So you guys are right, the answer is Taeyeon. Mm -hmm. And the two people who win the heartbeats is Che, che Soon Young. Young with the turtle and a tiger, tiger emoji. emoji. And who's the other one? Do you okay, I'll choose the next person. I choose... Hmm. 
Iconic underscore dime. Iconic underscore dime. At iconic underscore dime. Congratulations! Congrats to you two. We'll be sending out 50 heartbeats. Anyway, this is the weekend song, yes. guys. The title song of this album. Did you watch the choreo of the song? No. Like, cause it's like she stands on one leg and mm -hmm. then she kind of like moves back like that. Stands on one leg. <laughs> wow, balance. <laughs> yeah, balance. She must be doing a lot of yoga for this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. So if you guys don't know, Taeyeon is a member of Girls' Generation. Yes. All of her solo songs are so good. This one kind of reminded me of Doja Cat. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you know? Yeah, I forget that what's the song name. It was really famous on TikTok, but like the weekend part, it was really similar. And yeah, I think this song is perfect for the summer. It's so right. refreshing and it really gets yeah, you excited. It really calm. I think it really calms you down. Yeah, it calms you down and but it also gets you excited right, yeah. for the for the weekend. <laughs> yeah, it's a perfect song and it suited yeah. her so much. Her pink hair. Oh, she's so, so pretty. pretty. She's so pretty. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So let's, go let's move to the on next song. to the I mean, second the next question. album. So, Alice in Wonderland. Alice in Wonderland. The picture here is Luna, actually. Oh, you gave it away! <laughs> oh, wait, wait, but the picture is Luna, so okay, you guys <laughs> yeah, yeah. can cross one. Uh, okay, you guys can cross song. one out. <laughs> oh my god. <Oops. laughs> She's giving you guys unintentional hints. <laughs> Okay, so you guys already have one answer yeah, down. Yeah, we already have one answer. So it's out of the other three. <laughs> and yeah, Alice in Wonderland is the title of the album. Which artist is released this album? Yeah. Oh, we are album? getting answers We though. are getting answers already. Getting answers. That's crazy. Hmm. Let's see. Do you want to get this song already? Okay. <laughs> I will play the song for you guys. This is the title of their song. Should we give the answer first? Or? Sure, sure, sure. Let's just Okay. Yeah, because you guys already got it all yeah. right. So basically, the mm -hmm. answer is Pink, Pink Fantasy, Fantasy, and their title song is Iriwa. Iriwa. Okay, let's choose. Okay. Um, I will choose... Uh, sad girl. <laughs> sad girl. Sad Why girl. are you Please sad? Be happy. No, don't be sad. Oh my gosh. Sad, sad girl. girl. We give you 50 heartbeats. Mm -hmm. Please be happy now. Yes. Hopefully you're a happy girl now. Change your username. Actually, don't change it yet because we have to give you the heartbeats. <laughs> um, change it after you get the heartbeats. So I choose. Hoshi with the rabbit emoji. Hoshi. So Hoshi and Sad Girl, you guys both get 50, 50 heartbeats. heartbeats. Congrats! So, like an interesting fact about this album, um, this album, uh, Alice in Wonderland, mm -hmm. is that they actually made like the book Alice in Wonderland as um, they use it as a theme throughout mm -hmm. all, all their yeah. songs. So I thought that that was kind of interesting. So like one the first song, I forgot which one it was. It was probably um Is it Iriwa? Yeah, Iriwa, it's um so that's the one where they kind of start the journey by uh, with Alice following the rabbit. Mm. And then the second song, which was Fantasy, Fantasy. it's about her being locked in Wonderland. And mm. the poison that's I think that's the title song of this mm -hmm. album. So poison is when like Alice becomes a bad person, oh. and actually it kind of gives you a message about how you know like you have to be responsible for your choices. Like mm -hmm. even though you kind of become the bad person, you kind of have to you know be yeah. responsible with what you chose because Alice she's the one who chose to go down the rabbit hole, right? Yeah, that's so true. It was mm -hmm. yeah I thought that it was kind of interesting. Interesting. Yeah, fact. and I know that there's two versions of this album. Mm -hmm. It's the Wonderland version and the Poison version, and the covers mm -hmm. look very different. Really? So I guess it's really showing like the good and bad of right. like the mm -hmm. yeah the sin sin sin, <laughs> sin? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but basically, yeah, I think it's really neat how they made it into a story and right. all the songs basically mm -hmm. reflect Alice in Wonderland's yeah. theme but they kind of made it like dark and like more meaningful mm -hmm. but yeah I love albums like this that have like underlying meanings right. to the titles yeah so 
So yes. shall we move on to Let's the move third on. question? Yes. So the third question, the album's name is Face, Face Us. Face Us. Face Us. The options are Very Very, 80s, Monster X, and The Boys. Which artist do you think had released the, this album yeah. called Face, Face Us? Us? It's not Face Me. Nor <laughs> it's not face me. me glaring at Diana every time she's trying to give like and giving out like hits. <laughs> she's too nice. I'm just like no, make them suffer. And Diana's like no, 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 I don't wow. know. Every time I do these quizzes, I get so impressed at how much <laughs> how much our viewers know about yeah, they K-pop. They know everything. You guys know everything. <laughs> it's insane. I, mean, I probably go into um, you know, like the Melon or mm-hmm. all the music, like Spotify, in order to like find out about these artists. But uh-huh. like, they already know it. On yeah. The top wow, you guys. You guys are, are amazing. Amazing. Mm-hmm. Yes, you're right. It is very, very, very. very. and I will yes. play their title, GBTB. Yeah. From the album Face Us, not Face Me. Okay, I will choose um, Rosa Silva. Rosa Silva. Congratulations, you get 50 heartbeats. And I choose. Let me go up. I choose Sunshine. Sunshine. That's a pretty name. Sunshine. So Rosa Silva and Sunshine, you guys both get 50 heartbeats. Congrats. Let's listen to the song for a bit. Sure, sure. sure. So the song GBTB, it stands for Go Beyond the Barrier. Oh, there it is. Go beyond the barrier. So they basically say, go beyond the barrier. Yes. <laughs> um, yeah, GBTB. I didn't know that's what it standed for, so I had to search it up. Go beyond the barrier. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. So I guess the song is literally about like them wanting to go mm-hmm. beyond the barrier into a new world. And the music video was really, really nice that I saw. They're really mm-hmm. good at... What is it? Synchronized Korean. <laughs> oh yeah, let's talk about the uh, how Korean fans like oh, to call them. Oh yeah, so um, because their name is very very, even though it's like spelled V E R I V R Y, mm-hmm. like you know the very at the latter part, the latter very yeah. is very as in like meaning more, mm-hmm. right? So a lot of Korean fans put the very at um and like put an adjective in front mm-hmm. of the very and then put like. Kalgak very mm-hmm. or yujem very or yuga very. <laughs> so kalgak it means kind of like synchronized, mm-hmm. movie, like synchronized right? like choreography. Have, yeah, so choreography. it's like literal knife, mm-hmm. knife, knife choreography. angle <laughs> choreography. Very <laughs> yes, and yujem very it means you're very funny, funny right? like very funny very, <laughs> very funny very. <laughs> and then what is yuga very? About? Yuga very it, yuga it means, means that you are raising a child. Yeah. So um, Kang Min, who is apparently the bangne of this group, mm-hmm. um, he started being a trainee since he was really young. Mm-hmm. So all of the Hyungs, all of the other members were really taking care of him like Aww. he was their child. So that's so cute. Yeah, it's so cute. So apparently they even taught him how to use a microwave. That's, oh how, he, that's how young he was when he first. Oh. And all the Hyungs are like yeah. you guying, like very like mm-hmm. taking care taking of a care, baby. Yeah. So that's where you got very, very comes cute. from. Mm-hmm. But it's really interesting how they like put these adjectives in right. front of very i think it's really fun how mm-hmm. they you know make yeah. the names and also there's good news about very very <gasps> what is it they are coming back on august 23rd with a new song <gasps> i can't wait for so it if you guys are very very fans yes stay tuned we are i gonna, think it's like yeah three more weeks three more oh, weeks until you see three them. more weeks yes I can't wait for it. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> you 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 like too many idols. Yeah. <laughs> I like a multi stand. Multi stand. That's what we're all about. You know, here at Mubit, everybody. Yeah, we a love every K-pop. Yes, 
Because our viewers know everything about every K-pop art. Right, so we you need guys to kind are all of, multi you know, too, right? We need to kind of be like you guys so that we can make quizzes like this mm -hmm. and have fun lives. So. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Next question, our it fourth is. question. <clears throat> Guess the artist by the title of and the album. And the title of the album is Right, right Through Me. me. Right through me. Right through me. The options are day six, the even of day unit, mm -hmm. pristine, block B, and new it. Right through me. You know that like, the title of this album kind of reminds me of um, Dokkebi, you know, the Korean Dokkebi. drama. Oh, yeah. Because, <laughs> yeah, because like they have knife. like they put the knife through the Dokkebi. Yeah, so. oh my gosh. I thought it was like I one of my favorite dramas. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. It's really cute. Yeah, the Goblin, Goblin. Or the Guardian. <laughs> On Netflix, it's called The Guardian. I think there's yeah. two names to it. I guess because English Goblin sounds like so unattractive. Yeah, the Goblin. They're like, the Guardian. <laughs> <laughs> the Guardian. Goblin. It mm. makes me like, yeah, it kind of sounds like Jack Frost. Yeah, and like a monster. Oh, no. Yeah. Because no, like, the Tokkebi in that draw TV show is Kung Yu, and he's so handsome. Yeah, really good so at acting. Handsome. Okay, well, let's see. Oh my gosh, everybody's getting the answer. Guys, but it is not newest, <laughs> but you guys are getting it. Yes. Wow, okay. So, Diana, please mm -hmm. reveal I, the answer. The answer of this question is day six, bracket, even of day, bracket closed. Yes. <laughs> we need um, to have. Yeah, because it's the unit name, right? It's not the whole group, it's the specific unit to sing the song. So day six, even a day. And I will choose... Um... Diana! Hi! Oh my gosh, you guys have the same name! Wow, yeah, this, is, this, is, this is bias. <laughs> you, you have a bias. <laughs> I have a bias? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, you're giving it to your bias person. <laughs> same person with your name. Yes. Okay. Diana, so Diana, congrats, you get 50 heartbeats because, because of yeah. Diana. <laughs> and, okay, let me choose. Is there no Kate? <laughs> no Kate. Kate, here. comment down below. Um, okay, let's see. I choose. Hmm. I'm being very picky right now. Let's see. I, okay, I'm gonna choose somebody who put even of day. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. The exact answer. Yeah. Okay, I choose A E Talcon. A E Talcon. A E. Are you an Espa fan? <laughs> um, yeah, because like they put A E in front of all the mm -hmm. like the fake or like the ones in mm -hmm. the other universe. So. Mm, yeah, okay. So that was the song um, right through yeah. me. So, so the title song of this album is the title. I mean, it's the title is the same name of mm -hmm. the album. So it's um, right through right me. through me, and it's a unit group of the days uh, of the band mm -hmm. Day Six, right? Mm -hmm. You can call so, it a band, right? Yeah, yeah. Young K, Won Pil, and Toon are the members in this unit group, mm -hmm. and yeah, right through me is their second mini album. Mm -hmm. Second. So mm -hmm. when did their first money album come out? Their first one? I, I think, think it was probably like in 2020. Like oh, 2020? Last, yeah, okay. it was probably like summer last year. So, yeah. yeah so, so I um, heard that they make their own songs mm -hmm. and play like all their own them. songs yeah. on, stage. on stage. So if you look at their broadcasts, um, if you look if you look at their music broadcast stages, mm -hmm. then they're probably all gonna be standing playing their pianos mm -hmm. or guitar or um i think there's also a drummer here so they're amazing mm -hmm. like you sing and play an instrument at the same time i see do I you see. think that you'll be able to do that no i can't even <laughs> sing alone like with no instrument i can't play an instrument alone so the last thing i can do is do them simultaneously <laughs> play. yes uh, can yeah. you? No, I, I probably won't be able to do that. I can't yeah, even play the piano. Yeah, no, they're hella ta mm -hmm. talented. Yeah, they they are talented. Yeah, so Diana and A.E. Taikun both get 50. Congratulations. 50. Is this how you show 50? Heartbeat. <laughs> 50? <laughs> yes, congratulations. Yes, congratulations. Okay, next. Next song is... Or next title. No, yeah, next title. <laughs> the next title is... Border day one. Border and the options one. are Stray Kids. Uh-huh. 
N hyphen, N hyphen, Dreamcatcher, Dreamcatcher, and Everglow. Everglow. So out of these four, who do you think has this album title? Ooh. Comment down below. Comment down below. <laughs> <laughs> so groovy. Comment down below. Okay. Day six see. world domination. He he. Yes, day six world domination. They are an amazing group. And <laughs> going back to our question, we already have a lot Before of answers. Let's give some time for people to still comment though, mm -hmm. if you guys mm -hmm. are thinking yes. or searching it up. <laughs> 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 searching it up on Spotify. You guys better not search it up. <laughs> That's cheating. Yeah. Honesty is the best policy. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that just you just sounded like my school teacher. Yes, <laughs> my elementary school. Me teacher. trusting our Muvit viewers. <laughs> you guys are not. It's not open book, okay? It's not an open book. <laughs> You're not allowed to leave the. <laughs> not allowed to leave the chat. Oh wow, we're getting a lot of, a answers. Lot of answers. I think it is time to reveal it. Diana, yes. would you please? Well, so first of all, the picture, the artist in the picture is actually Everglow. Mm. Mm-hmm. And the artist who released this album called Border Day One is Drumroll, please! It's N Hyphen! Woo! My Woo! favorite group right now! Yes! Yeah, N Hyphen! Yay! Okay, let me play their title song, Give and Taken. Give and Taken. Oh, it kind of like. Is that a harp sound? It kind of sounds like harp. Yeah, it does actually, right? It has like a vampire thing. Uh -huh. Do you watch the music video? Oh yeah, yeah. Mm. They're so good. Mm -hmm. Stan and I. <laughs> they uh, they are just, uh, the fandom's called Engines. Right? Yeah, and Engines. That's so cute, Engines. Okay, I chose the person I am. Really? Already? Yes. Who is it? Uh, the uh, username shocked biscuit. <laughs> shocked biscuit. <laughs> you guys have the cutest username. Shop biscuit. Yes. With Don't be shocked emoji. now. Don't be shocked now. Let's see. Who should I choose? Mm. I choose Nami. 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 Nami and Shock Biscuit. Biscuit. <laughs> you guys get 50 heartbeats. Congrats. Congratulations. If you guys couldn't hear me, I said Nami and Shock Biscuit. Mm -hmm. 50 heartbeats. Congratulations. Well, so when I was looking through the questions mm -hmm. and when I was looking through all the albums of N Hyphen, yeah. what I found was that their title songs have a hyphen in the middle. Yeah. I thought that was do you guys, what do you guys think? Do you think it's intentional? Because mm -hmm. Give and Taken has a uh, hyphen in hyphen. the middle. Yes. And um, what's what's the drunk, drunk days? days it also, also has a hyphen. hyphen in the middle. So do you guys think that this is intentional, or is it just coincidence? Is it, or are we being too, you know, looking into it? Yeah. Okay. What do you guys think? I think it is. Hazel, Hazel. said, "I think it is." So maybe they are intentionally putting yeah. hyphens in the middle because they're. Oh, uh, the name yeah. is N-Hyphen. We will know for sure when the next album right. comes out. So N-Hyphen, you guys better Twice, get ready. it might be a coincidence. Yes. Three times, nah. <laughs> Three times, it's definitely intentional. Right. Yeah. They're really smart for that mm. though. Yeah, they are really smart yeah. for that. So that's from Hazel. So I think so too. Mm -hmm. Oh sure, it's on purpose. Yeah. It's Yeonjun's on fingernail says, no, I think so too. <laughs> Yeonjun's fingernails. Mm -hmm. Isla Richard said, oh, for sure it's on purpose. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. you really caught on. Wow. Yes. Didn't start me. Can, can I be on Engine now too? Yes! Yes! <laughs> Please join! You guys, I have been watching and hyphen since Island, and I voted for all the members. Mm -hmm. And I I got so lucky because all the members I voted for made it. Really? Except Daniel. Oh no! <laughs> Except Daniel. I really love Daniel. You must be kind but, of like, you know, like the picker. You yeah, must like know all the like. Yeah, no, yeah. I. that's why I have so much like love and like mm -hmm. you know because i feel like i like low-key raised them. right i, I watched them grow from <laughs> little babies on from island. The island stages right yeah and then i voted for them and mm -hmm. this 
this team and hyphen got formed right. and now they're like just amazing they're amazing yes. i love all of their songs but my favorite is fever Yeonjun's fingernail says, I love Daniel too. Yeah, I was so sad when Daniel didn't make it. Did you see how Daniel grew so tall by the end of the show? <laughs> he used to be a baby and then all of a sudden, like he's he standing next so to everybody tall. and then he grew like 30 centimeters. I was like, Daniel, what happened? What did he eat? What happened to our what baby? He, he became so, he was taller than like all the other members. Wow. I was so shook. Yeah, yeah, Daniel. We have a lot of um, people who miss Daniel. Yeah, mm, so Nami so. said I miss Daniel too. <laughs> Rosa <laughs> Silva said you look so in love. <laughs> yes, I'm. She is in love. <laughs> I'm so obsessed with um and hype and you guys. I can't even. I just yeah. love them so much. Island. Yeah, I think I saw a few episodes of Island. Mm -hmm. I I didn't watch all of them. I watched. <laughs> you should. Them. I really should. You know, it's season. all too late to vote. <laughs> <laughs> you can. Yeah, I can't you, vote for my biases, <laughs> but I can at least know the results and yeah, go yeah. and be like, oh yes, this is the guy. Yeah, no, it's so entertaining and all of them are so good. Mm -hmm. So that's what made like me continue to watch it because they were all so cute, mm -hmm. so talented. Right. And yeah, it was a really good survival show. I've watched many survival shows. Mm -hmm. I watched um, 101, mm -hmm. like Produce 101. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, but I think Island was my favorite. Mm. Do you know that they're doing another um, survival show these yeah, days? Yeah, yeah, I know. Girls Planet. Yeah, Nine Girls Nine Planet. Nine. Nine. I heard yeah. that um, uh, TXT. Who was it? The one of the members from TXT. His, oh, he's in it. No, no, he's not in it. Oh, it's his, all his, girls. <laughs> yeah, it's all girls. So, <laughs> like, uh, <laughs> oh, oh, the his younger sister is. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. So I heard that. I was like, I'm interested. Oh, they look it. so similar. So it's Hazel cool. and who is it? Um, Rocky EU says Nikki is so tall now too. I know. They grow all so fast. Them, yeah, they're mm -hmm. so. <laughs> They're so cute. They're my little kids. They grow so fast. <laughs> Hazel suddenly said Kai. Wait, do you know Kai is my bias too? <laughs> I love Kai. He was my bias since high school. Maybe there's like a, you know, like similarity between all of these guys. No, actually no. there isn't. Cause <laughs> like in and hyphen my bias is Jay. Mm -hmm. And Jay looks nothing like Kai. But for some reason, both of them just I love them. Are your biases. Yeah. Yes, course, but Jay is hella funny. You have to watch Island yeah. to know his like personality. Okay. Because, I will yeah. start Island. I loved Jay because of his personality. <laughs> yeah, he was really okay. funny. Next time I come here, I'm gonna tell you guys about my island. Yeah. Reviews. Also, yeah. Oh, I think um, they were talking about Huning. Oh Kai. yeah, Huning yes, Kai. Yes, Kai's yes, sister. Yes, yes. Leia. Right. Leia. Leia. Mm. Yes. Okay. I can't she, wait. To she's check amazing. It out. She, Is I, she? Yeah, I, I already she... saw some of her videos mm. on that are on YouTube, mm. and she's amazing. Wow. Well, she must be so similar. To must be in their genes yeah. to be good at dancing mm -hmm. and singing. Right. Dancing and singing. Oh how I wish <laughs> I had those genes. <laughs> I'm just. So Where are my <laughs> dancing and singing jeans? Oh. I love it how everybody's like, oh, all Koreans can sing and dance. I'm like, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Am I not Korean? <laughs> oh, I heard that too when yeah. I was in the States. And everyone's like, you're Korean. Like, you must love K pop. I was like, yeah, I love K pop. And then they were like, then you must be good at dancing. I was like, <laughs> dancing? <laughs> the only dance that I can do is probably like exercising. <laughs> The only movement that my body lets me do. Yeah, is like it's, it's tough this. for us. We, we have you have two bone cheese. Yeah. <laughs> okay, shall we move on to the sixth question? Mm -hmm. The sixth question is curious, curious. with a Q, not a C, a Q. Mm -hmm. And the options are Mama Moo, mm -hmm. Wua, TXT, and Itzy. It's so comment down below which artist has the album title Curious. We will oh. wait for you guys. We must have a lot of Island fans here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Jay oh. is my bias too. Jay. Oh. oh, we're getting some answers, we but we will wait a you little bit. Like, how could you guys get all these answers like yeah. right away? I, I Literally every time I play these games, I'm uh -huh. like, our viewers are so smart. <laughs> Have good memory, have good heart because they like all right, right. Have a lot of energy. <laughs> I don't have the have energy to that devote database. my, right. you know, devote my love for like all, all these, of these groups. You know, I have like right. two favorites. Mm -hmm. You know, and then 
my biases but <laughs> besides that I'm like I'm kind of out of it a little bit uh -huh. I mean with these lives I learn a lot though right right yeah. right when you're making these lives mm -hmm. okay so oh, let's see Ooh, we're getting so a lot of many. answers we are so. getting a lot Diana, please give us the answer. Yes, I shall um, tell you guys what the answer is. It is Ua. Ua. And their title, Bad Girl. Let mm -hmm. me play it. So, Bad Girl from the album Curious by Ua. Okay, let's choose the people we're gonna give okay, 50 hearts to that. They got so Ua Haji. They put their own words. Yeah. Ua means like elegant. Mm -hmm. Elegant. I want to give 50 heart beats to Rocky Charm. Rocky Charm. Ooh ah. Yes, Rocky Charm. Congratulations. Rocky Charm. I will give it to. Nana Americano. Nana Americano. Nana, Nana Americano. Did you just hear that? Yeah. They're like, I'm a bad girl, but then they sound so like. <laughs> they sound <laughs> not bad. bad. I'm, I'm a bad, bad girl. girl. Bad girl. <laughs> Maybe the contrast. Maybe like the difference between mm. the theme, like how they sound like, and the lyrics is kind of like the point that they want to make. It. I'm mm -hmm. not sure. Yeah, I'm kind of like a person who likes going into like all the meanings of the mm. lyrics. No, that's good right though. Now. That's good for our lives yes. because we want somebody like her who looks at the details. <laughs> yeah, so a fact mm -hmm. about this album, it's their second mini album. Their first was called Exclamation and it's funny no, because they have exclamation marks in their group name. Right. I think it's my first time seeing a K-pop group with exclamation marks in yeah, there, right? It's right? My first like it's really too. interesting. Ooh, wow. Yeah. And also their fandom name is Wow. Wow. With, with an exclamation mark at the so. end. It's like really cute how they yeah. did that. Yeah. It's really like very cheerful. Like whenever I read their names on, on the computer, I'm like, ooh, ah, and I'm like, okay, I need to <laughs> wow. I'm a wow <laughs> exclamation mark. Yeah. So cute. So to basically identify them, I think they say Uwa a lot in their songs, mm -hmm. right? It must be kind of like JYP. Yeah, like the JYP. JYP. <laughs> the signature sound. So yeah, yeah and I, it's cute. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think um I heard their I think it was one of their newest releases, Purple. Mm -hmm. So that's in their third mini album, I mm -hmm. think. And in Purple, they also have that part where they're all shouting Uwa, mm -hmm. and I was like, okay, so this is the song mm -hmm. by Uwa. That's cute. Yeah. It's really cute. So they took the first letter of question mm -hmm. and spelled curious with the Q because yeah. they mm -hmm. wanted to talk about how young people are very curious and active in trying to like find out about the world yes. and they also wanted people to be curious about them and ask mm. questions I guess about wow. their group as well yeah. so I guess it's kind of like unique how they spell curious with a Q because mm -hmm. I think some people might search it up they're like right right curious yeah me Q. like a person like me I'm yeah. like why is it curious, curious with, with a Q, a Q. Mm -hmm. wait that's um Sunshine asked, is Itzy in the photo? Yes, it is Itzy in the photo. Mm -hmm. um, and love how Gabby says, love how the group name and yeah, fandom Gabby name matches. matches. It, yeah, yeah, it's, it's really, really interesting. interesting. Yes. Ooh, uh, wow. 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 What, um, they both have exclamation marks. Yes. So. Wow. You can be like, I'm a wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah, wow. You can't say I'm a wow. It yeah. needs to be I'm a wow. <laughs> Exclamation mark. It's cute. It's cute. Yes. So wait, so uh, let's announce the people who won the heartbeats again. So Rocky Charm and Nana Americano. You guys win 50 heartbeats. Yes. Congratulations. Congratulations. Congrats. Okay, moving on to the seventh question. Yes. Dun -dun. Do -do. So the seventh question the is title, Dream. Yes, the name of the album is Dream. So the options are O and F, mm -hmm. Wanwei, Changha, Jeongunji. Jeongunji. So out of those four, who do you think has an album title called Dream? Dream. Dream. Well, dream. You know, to give you guys a small hint, maybe. Mm -hmm. Can I give a hint? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I give you permission. I give uh, you thank permission. Thank you. <laughs> yes. Finally, <laughs> the the artist in the picture is Wanwei. 
Mm. Yes. So oh. we, you guys can cross one we all. Mm. So now you have O and F, Chama mm -hmm. and Tom and Z. So from these three artists, mm -hmm. who do you guys who think, you guys think uh, released the album called Dream? Dream. Ooh, we're getting answers we're getting already. Answers. Wow, wow. These are amazing. Let me get the song ready because you guys are on a roll. Actually, this is one of my favorite songs when it was released. I was mm. just so obsessed with it. So I, I probably listened to this on repeat for one whole month. One month? Yes. <laughs> okay, you guys, let's see how good this song is. I just like, I love these kind of songs. Mm. Yeah. It's really kind of like it really it's kind of like fluttering I think mm -hmm. and it's really comfortable. I I just love Tomanzi's mm -hmm. voice so it's really uh, comfortable for me to just hear her voice. Alright, so let's pick our two lucky winners. Mm -hmm. Um uh, I know who I choose. Okay. Vivi with the ice cube and watermelon because it's so summery. Yes. <laughs> Refreshing. Yes. I love watermelon. With like ice and spray oh, yeah. inside. Oh my god. You know what? So, what is that thing called? In, in Korean, it's pate. Pate? Mm -hmm. I don't know what pate is in English. What is it? I think it's, they just call it fruit bowls, maybe? Yeah, it's like fruit a fruit bowl. bowl. Mm -hmm. In Korea, in the summer, mm -hmm. you cut a watermelon. Mm -hmm. You scoop Half. out the stuff, right. and you put Sprite inside. With ice, and then ice. you put yeah. back the watermelon yeah. like, the, that you scooped out mm -hmm. back in it, and then you just eat it. Yeah. The watermelon. So yeah. Vivi, mm -hmm. I like your use. Congratulations! And I shall go with... <clears throat> um, Mary with a teddy bear emoji. How cute. Mary. M-A-R-I. With a teddy, teddy bear emoji. So Vivi and Mary, you guys get 50 heartbeats. Congratulations! Congrats. Ooh, okay. Do you want to say some facts about Chang Eunji because yes. you love her? I love her so much. So she is uh, from the girl group A Pink, and she's not only a singer but she's also an actress, and yes. she's amazing. Amazing actress. Yes. Um, and she probably I think she debuted like I think one of her first um dramas, Korean dramas that she starred in was Reply 1997, yeah. which was a huge hit in Korea. It was a huge hit. And the whole I, series yeah, was the a whole hit. Series. They had um, many after that. Right. It was probably yeah. 1990, uh, 1997 mm -hmm. and they probably had 1988, yeah. 1995 or something. Mm -hmm. And um anyways, Tomunji, she was a star. She starred in the first um drama of the mm -hmm. whole series which was in reply 1997 it was and because she did so well mm -hmm. they like made more yeah they made more right? series after that yeah. and she actually had an ost track for that drama mm -hmm. and it's called all for you so yeah. you guys should check it out and also watch the drama if you haven't already it's on netflix right yeah it is it's on, on netflix. netflix and you guys can learn a lot about like how Korea was like in back 19 in the day. Oh, like actually, um, Tolunzi is she's also she stands. Uh, you know the first generation K-pop idols in yeah. the <laughs> HOT. Yes, HOT and Jaskis back yeah. then. So you can see how different um, K-pop fans were back then. They were right. actually very extreme. Yeah, they were aggressive. They were, yeah, they were on a whole new level of. <laughs> it was in, yeah. Fandom. I mean, like these days there are like Sasing fans and crazy fans too, but back then they were on a whole new level mm -hmm. of fandom and fanship and it's really interesting to see how much k-pop has developed since then so mm -hmm. if you guys are interested in learning about like history of k-pop history maybe, of k-pop yeah how fandoms. it all started um and also just what korea was like back then mm -hmm. also, and also see very good acting right then from yeah Z. go watch it yeah They're highly like, recommend yes it's such a good drama mm. Bob Yu says, I discovered A Pink because of their song No No No. Yes, No 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 is such a good song too. So. Okay, last but not least, last let's move on. Least. We need to move we on. We have You Never Walk Alone. You Never Walk Alone. And this one is easy if you are a fan of this group. Yes, but it would be super yes, easy. The options are Treasure, <clears throat> Big Bang, BTS, AKM New. So. Do your thing, you guys. Do, Do your, your thing. thing. I already know you guys are gonna be. <laughs> we are gonna have answers. Yes. Yes, we already have answers. Mm -hmm. Tons of answers. Have. Okay. Yes. Shall you reveal it? Mm -hmm. What is the so answer? The 
Well, the artist in the picture is Ang Miu. They came back with a new song very recently. And the artist who re uh, released uh, an album called You Never Walk Alone is BTS. BTS. Yes, BTS. <laughs> okay, let's play their title song of this album, Spring Day. Which is kind of surprising because I thought it would be Blood, Blood Sweat and Tears. <laughs> I love this song. I love so, this song too. So this album is actually a repackage of the mm -hmm. Wings album. Mm -hmm. And so the Wings album is when Blood, Sweat and Tears was mm -hmm. titled. So the album cover was actually shot at an actual beach here in Korea mm -hmm. and there's like a bus stop mm -hmm. and I'm sure you guys have seen the bus stop so the bus stop that they took the photo at is a place in Gangnam and now the bus stop actually changed its name to BTS, BTS bus, bus stop, stop. Yes. because it became so popular and so many people would go to that location right. and take photos mm -hmm. that they actually changed the bus stop name to BTS, BTS bus stop. Bus stop. So it was really interesting. Yeah, if you guys search it up on Google, you guys yeah. will probably find it on Google mm -hmm. Maps called it's BTS in Gangnam. Bus, Gangnam. Yeah, and if you guys are ever in Korea, you can go check it out. Gangnam is a beautiful place. Yeah, it has a beach. Yeah, they have the Gangnam beach in front mm -hmm. of it, and it's amazing. Yeah, and you guys can eat a lot of seafood there and see a lot of mountains. Mm -hmm. It's a beautiful place. Yeah. So this um, album sold 2.5 million copies in Korea and it's what earned um, BTS the title of mm -hmm. Million Sellers. Oh wow. The million Sellers title. Mm -hmm. It came from this album, You Never Walk Alone. Yes, that's amazing. Yeah, that's so shall we choose the two users who mm -hmm. will get 50 heartbeats? The last two winners. Yes. The last two winners. I want to go with Juni with, uh, I think that's a fox emoji. So mm. Juni with a fox emoji. Congratulations. And I choose... I'm Foyeve. I'm Foyeve. I'm Foyeve and Juni, you guys get 50 heartbeats each. The last 50 heartbeats. Congrats to all of you guys. That was our last question of yes. the day. Well, yeah. yeah. Well, How did you like this quiz? Well, yeah, it was kind of hard, I think. Mm -hmm. Some of the questions were kind of hard, but some of the songs, mm -hmm. I mean, some of the albums were albums I already knew about. Mm -hmm. So those albums, it was kind of easy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this quiz. And if you really want, us to do another quiz like this. Mm -hmm. Comment below how you guys like this episode. Um, yeah, I'm Foy says thank you. And Gabby says congrats. I'm, I'm Foy fellow stay. Um, green OT6, I'm Foy. <laughs> A lot of you guys are talking about I'm Foy. Why? I'm Foy. Interesting. Foy. Okay, Bye. well, Foy. yeah. Um, thank you guys thank you all guys. for watching this mm -hmm. episode. Hope you really enjoyed it. And we will be coming back next Thursday with more content for K-pop party <gasps> or yes. new bit on air. And we will see you guys next week. Thank you again so much for watching. Bye. See you.